Hey there everybody and welcome back for another bonus video for Kodelka. We're going to be heading back into our reading corner and seeing what is inside these letters from Sophia. Now we haven't learned about who Sophia is, but as we venture into the opening of the first letter here, we'll see that it is Charlotte's mother. Now, Charlotte has only been a very minor character so far in the game. She just kind of harassed us back in the dungeon. And we haven't really seen hide nor hair of her since then. But, yeah, we are going to be learning a little bit more about her with these letters. So, let's go ahead and get started. Letter 1. My dearest daughter Charlotte, as I sit in silence struggling to write this letter to you in English... I sense the arrival of winter is near at Arden Castle. I feel it makes me a bad mother since I am unable to make you happy. I cannot lament enough how my selfish affair has entangled so many people, including you, my dear, who were sent to Wales to encounter many sorrowful experiences. I probably will never see you again, nor your brother, nor your sister again. But one thing that will not change is that you are my beloved daughter, you are the daughter of the man whom I love from the bottom of my heart, Philip Christopher. I am sure you must resemble him greatly. You were blessed when you were born, and that you were still alive is a testament to that fact. I often wondered what the color of your eyes is, and how it would feel to run my hands through your hair. I can't help but to dream about the day that I meet you, although deep down inside I know that day will never come. We might be far away in distance, but we are always together in my heart. Please take good care of yourself, your mother, Sophia de Lotta. Letter 2 My dearest daughter Charlotte, five summers have already passed since you've entered this world. I think I must have written over twenty letters now. Despite my poor penmanship, how happy it makes me to know that my feelings are being conveyed to you. I wonder what I should tell you today. I think I will talk about your father. Your father, Philip Christopher, is the son of Count von Kossenmark, Sweden's artillery inspector general. Your father was a childhood friend of mine, and I'm the daughter of a duke. Unfortunately, Philip and I eventually had to part. Due, the, due to the inevitable circumstances of our country, an arrangement was made so that I was to marry and be queen to Count Hanover and spend many days filled with hardship. It was your father who came into my life again and saved me. Your father and I spent many years loving each other. It's a fact that I fell in love with somebody, although I was already married. Some would call this a secretive affair, but our love was genuine and pure, especially when compared with the marriage arrangement with Count Hanover, which was strained with politics and power. Please forgive your foolish mother, your mother, Sophia de Lota. Letter 3. My dearest daughter Charlotte, please allow me to celebrate your twelfth birthday with you. May God's blessings and grace be with you. What would you like for your birthday? Would you like a raspberry cake? I should like to get you a beautiful dress along with a golden hair ornament and brooch. I want to provide happiness. I want to braid happiness into each loop of your hair. Then you could dance in the court like a precious jewel. My dear Charlotte, are you well? I hope you haven't become sick. I only wish to make you happy even if I had to sacrifice my own life. Is that a wish that cannot be granted? I would like very much to get to know you. Even if it's only a glance, I want to see how you've grown up. There isn't a day that goes by that I do not pray for your well-being. I try not to lament, but I love you from the bottom of my heart. Your mother, Sophia de Lota. Letter 4. 